By the end of this video, you will be able to change the tempo markings as well as the playback speed of the music that you're creating in MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore open. And there are two main ways that you can change the tempo markings or the playback speed within MuseScore. The first way is to go to the palettes on the left hand side of your screen. So make sure you have the palettes tab selected on the top left. And then you're going to look for the palette that says tempo. If you cannot find the tempo palette, you can go to add palettes and find the tempo palette, add it, and then click outside and you'll find your tempo palette. You can drop down the tempo palette by clicking this small triangle here and you will see all the options available to you for your tempo of your piece. In order to add a tempo marking to your piece, you're going to either select a note or you can select a measure or the entire piece, either one. And once you have that done, you can click on the tempo marking you would like to add. That will add the tempo marking to your piece. Make sure when you are selecting your tempo that you are in selector mode, not note input mode. So note input mode is this pencil icon on the top of your screen. When it's blue, that means it's on. That means you're going to be so you're going to be entering notes. You want to turn that off. That will put you into selector mode so that you can add and edit your tempo markings. So now the tempo of this piece is quarter note equals 80 BPM or beats per minute. What that means is that for every minute that goes by, there will be 80 pulses or 80 beats. For reference, 60 pulses per minute is much like 60 seconds per minute. So that means you would have one pulse per second. In order to edit that tempo marking, all you need to do is be in selector mode and double click on the tempo marking. It will turn blue and there'll be a cursor icon appear. And I can use my keyboard to enter numbers in here. So let's say I would want that faster, maybe like 140. And then you will want to click outside to make the tempo marking permanent. So now that I've added that tempo marking, it will be reflected in playback. Your playback controls are on the top right hand side of your screen. And I'm actually going to click these six dots here and drag into the screen so that I have more options available to me for the playback. And now I'm going to go ahead and play this piece. And you're going to hear it's at 140, so a pretty quick tempo. Okay, so that worked out well. And on these playback controls, you're going to see on the right hand side, there's a quarter note equals 140, which is exactly what I input for the piece. Now, in order to change your playback speed without changing anything on your score, you see there's a tempo and then 100% here. And you can change this percentage and it will change the tempo marking or the tempo speed. So you can see the playback is now going to be slower at 112. So if I make that smaller, say 50%, now it's going to be 70, which is half of 140. So even though it doesn't change the score, it does change the playback. And if you were to export this as an audio file, the audio file would have the tempo that you set here with that percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and you're going to hear it's much slower now. Perfect. So those are the two main ways that you can change the tempo in your pieces in MuseScore. So you have the palettes on the left hand side and you also have the tempo marking and percentages on the playback controls. So you can also take that percentage and go over 100%. So if you wanted to go 200%, you can see it's going very fast now and so forth. If you would like to dock the playback controls up into the upper right again, you can just click those six dots and then drag to the upper right till you see that blue screen and then you can drop right into place. If you would like to delete a tempo marking, you can go ahead and just click on the tempo marking and then press delete on your keyboard. All, another way to delete something is if you have it selected to go up to edit and then delete. So that will also work. One last thing, you can actually change the tempo markings for different parts of your piece. I, I, you can actually go pulse by pulse or even measure by measure. And so in order to do this, I'm going to have the second measure selected and I'm going to add a different tempo marking there. I'm just going to click on quarter note equals 80 and it will add that. So now I've got 140 for the first measure, 80 for the second. And then let's say for the last two measures, I actually want to use words instead of the tempo markings. I can use the words here and you can see they have uh, different options available for you. And just so for reference, the order of the words by default are by slowest to fastest. So prestissimo is very fast. I'm going to go ahead and add that one to my third measure. So I'm going to drag that one and I'm going to attach it to that note and we'll add it to the third measure. And then uh, lastly, let's do an adagio or slow speed. And I'm going to drag that to the fourth measure. Now, when I play this piece, every measure is going to be a little different. So let's take a listen. So those are the main two ways to change the tempo of the piece that you are working on in MuseScore. There might be times when you are working with your tempo markings in MuseScore where you would like to hide the tempo marking. And so in order to do that, you can just select the tempo marking and then go up to the properties panel here on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to click that. And here I can change if I would like it visible or not. So if I would like it not to be visible, I can just click that. So now the tempo marking is not visible, but it will still be reflected in playback controls and if you were to export this as an audio file. 
If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in learning more about MuseScore 4. I created a video that is a complete beginner's guide on how to use MuseScore 4 and will show you everything you need to do to get started with this software. I'll put a link to that video here.